I'm going to stretch my friend Craig today, um, and he'll talk at some point about how much this exercise has loosened him up. But what we want to show you, we want to show you the full version here. I'll, Craig will demonstrate one side, then he's going to swap over and we'll demonstrate the, an even more intense version on me on the other side. So Craig's position is the standard lunge position we were just seeing in the limbering exercise. He's moved this leg back as far as he can get it, um, and he's got the front knee open, but not open so far that it becomes a super adductor or hamstring stretch. You have to balance those two things. And then what I do, I simply get into a position like this. I get into full squat position, and I put my glutes as high up on his thigh, underneath his glutes as possible, while not actually on his glutes and then I settle all my weight on him. It's absolutely necessary that you put all of your weight on your partner. If there's any tentativeness at all, the weight that you'll be putting on the person doesn't feel comfortable or stable and you will not be able to relax underneath it. So what I'm holding the thickest part of his calf muscle in a really strong grip and he is simply pulling himself forward away from that. So how are you going there, buddy? Yeah, it's been good. And he's also rolling his hips from side to side, as I did in the limbering exercise, and what he's endeavouring to do is to find today's tightest line. So let me know when you've found a really tight line, and then we can move into the contractions. And this, this early part, before, well, before the real exercise, quote-unquote, starts, is, is also very important because... It's, it's in this part here where he's feeling what the body's feeling like today and he's actually giving himself the signals, if you like, to actually relax at a deep level. You so, can't force these things. What were you going to say? So just for everyone to know what I'm feeling at the moment, I'm just rocking from side to side. It's very tight there. And as I run away from that, it gets looser and looser and looser until there is, like, I have to go all the way to the ground if I just keep going. Right. So this side here is my tightest part. It's also worth noting that for me in particular in this exercise, I feel it in my adductor strongly if I don't emphasize the tail tuck. So I need to really tuck the tail under and that's gone right into my hip flexor now. Excellent. So he's <sighs> been in this position for about a minute and you'll need a minimum of that time with a partner until you're ready to actually do the contraction and then the restretch. So I'm redoubling my grip on his calf muscle and I'll give him the directions to do the first contraction, which is he's going to try and pull his leg through my grip forwards. So when you're ready, and I'm going to really have to brace because he's a strong guy. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop slowly. And then the next contraction is, well, first I'm going to restretch him. I'm going to get him into a position where we can actually do the next contraction, I slowly fold up the back leg like this. Yep. It, about there? Yep. And then notice how I'm gripping the ankle, both hands like this very tightly around the ankle. And once again, he's going to do some little movements from side to side to locate the very tightest line, which I think is the same line. Isn't it? I yep. can feel it feels like the same line. So now we have the opportunity of doing two new contractions. The first is this foot here is going to try and straighten this leg. So when you're ready, and you can see I'm having to do a fair bit of work here. He's, he's strong. Two, one, stop. That's about a five count. And next, I'm holding the ankle, and he's going to pull the folded leg forward through the floor as though he's trying to drag that folded leg to his chest. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Now, ordinarily you'd think we were going to fold the leg further, but we don't do that. We put this leg on the ground so that the restretch effect is all experienced in the hips going closer and closer to the floor. That is sensational. That's, that's really a big release. Now, he's moving around like this partly as a distraction, I suspect it's a very strong stretch, but also, again, um, to make the body feel more comfortable when it's in a strong stretch position. How does that feel? That feels fantastic, and I like to spend about five long deep breaths at least after we've done all the contractions just to feel the new position again. Perfect. Now to come out of this, because we're going to swap over now, all I'll do, and watch how I'm going to take my weight off, be really careful here and slow, like this, because we're convinced it's actually in the coming out of the stretch that all the remapping actually occurs, not when you're in it. When you're really in a deep stretch like this, the body is simply panicking. Okay, you're going to stretch me, brother? Do it. So now he gets a chance to get his own back. So 
I'll get into the dish and you'll notice I've got this chair here. I'll show you what that's for in a moment. And I just simply get my back leg back as far as I can here like this. And Craig, when you're ready, please. I'll just make the comment now that it's very, very important that you don't rush down and into this. I'm sure Kit mentioned it already when I was under stretch, but I was a little bit distracted. Very nice. And also that the tonus of my body is very, very important. If I'm all tensed up in this position, that's going to carry through to Kit's body. So I need to also just soften and relax. Absolutely. Now I'm going to do something slightly different to Craig. I'm putting my um, fist slightly behind the line of my shoulders and opening out my front leg a bit more because I'm a little bit more flexible than he is. And now watch, I'm going to pull myself forward like this and that really, as you can probably see, that really gets into this back leg here. Now if you hold my calf muscle, please, Craig, I'm going to do a couple of contractions. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. And I'm not going to lower myself into the full stretch yet. I'm going to let him do the second contraction first. So fold up the back leg, please. And again, being very, very careful here, especially if someone's not used to this movement, cranking it on very hard is going to probably break something. So just <laughs> nice and slowly until <laughs> Kit tells me no. Keep going. That's perfect. Okay. Now I'm also holding onto the edge of the mat here because I'm going to apply some as much force as I can in this because I've been stretching for a while now. So the first contraction is simply to press the back leg straight. Four, three, two, one. Now you hold that ankle please in the death grip and hold me. Five, four, three, two, one. Now watch, I'm going to go down onto my elbows here. And if you watch carefully, you'll see that the whole of the front of the back leg is on the ground, or almost all of it. And then I'm going to bring the chair in because this last part is actually the part that feels nicest to me. Watch this. I'm simply going to pull myself forward. Oh, that's marvellous. And now I can do a, a yet another contraction, which is to press my elbows straight down into the seat of the chair like this. And I stop, and oh, that's fantastic. So I'm literally now just letting myself relax in a position, the whole of the back leg on the ground, and I'm now bringing my shoulders back uh, as far over the hip as I can, and that is now the first part of the back bend. You can see the bottom half of the body is in a decent back bend here. To come out of it, Craig is very slowly lifting his weight off. Thanks very much. Now there are people who who criticize partner stretching because they think it takes too much time but I can assure you and I'm, you'll probably agree with this doing a partner stretch with someone who's actually awake and paying attention to what's happening will stretch your body in a way that you simply can't do yourself. It also makes you incredibly strong. You were really holding on tight then, weren't you? Yeah, I was so strong. What we've also noticed, and this is so unusual and it's unlike most strength training, is that when you do these contractions, and when, as a guy in particular, and when you get stronger and stronger, you'll be able to exert a huge amount of force at the stretched end of the range of movement, and no weight training normally, except for calf muscle work, no weight training can normally strengthen you that way. And we are absolutely convinced that this gives some protection to the joints because most of the time when people hurt themselves doing athletic activities, it's when they're in full extension or full rotation and then an extra bit of movement is added to it. This will help to bulletproof you against those sorts of things. Okay. I'd okay. like to also add that for me, this exercise has given me an incredible awareness of pelvic position and what's going on in the front of the hips. And that is absolutely invaluable across all movements. So now I can feel, even when I walk, I notice that my hip flexor goes on to stretch. Whereas before I was avoiding it all and I couldn't even feel what was going on there really. And it's this particular movement that has given me that ability. The second thing I'd like to add is if you're in a car for a long time and you've got a sore back, all the back stretches in the world probably won't help. Do this movement and the back pain will go away almost instantly. Yeah, that, that's my experience too. And one other thing I'll comment on, uh, Craig is a practitioner of Chinese martial arts and working with you in the last couple of years and seeing how you're flexibility has changed once you incorporated this stretch into that 
that series of exercises has just been the most amazingly rapid change I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. try it. Your body will absolutely thank you for this one. Of all of our exercises, this was the one that has the most fundamental health benefits, in my opinion.